This is oddly satisfying. I, I, I quite enjoy this. This feels good. This feels like those soap cutting videos. I like this. It's oddly satisfying. Until your brain clicks on and you realize that that's a freshwater turtle. They're literally everywhere in the United States, except one place, the ocean. So it goes without saying, particles don't grow in freshwater turtles. Uh, spikes don't either. Okay, I just want you, I want you to know. Ah, damn it. Dan the Turtle Man beat me to make it this video. I found multiple channels that do fake barnacle turtle rescue videos. Essentially, they say, oh, we found a sea turtle, and then they pry the barnacles off of the turtles. Oh, uh, it's okay. It, it's fine. Who's Soda Pets? Oh my god, she beat me too. They were scraping the barnacles off and rescuing it. And, she, and she's British, so everyone trusts her. I think she's British, I don't know. Since I live all the way in New Zealand, I thought I'd make my own. Especially since a lot of people don't even know my country exists. I'm so stupid. Oh, she sounds so trustworthy, like, emzotic. This girl goes ham, holy crap. Dan's video actually accomplished more than I ever have in the past. Just days after he dropped that video, YouTube shut the channel down for violent acts. Well, I guess I should just spend an unhealthy amount of time trying to figure out who makes these videos. I had to include this in the video. This is gold. All right, so just enjoy this. Most turtles are raised in coastal waters. A few are bought from local markets. Some will return to the sea once they are old enough. Others are kept for breeding purposes. My job is to remove the barnacles from the turtles and give them food. It's a daily routine, and I'm recording it. If you don't like them, please leave. I noticed my channels always have some people with hostile attitude. What are some guys trying to show? Come back to real life, what have done? Or try to find fame by taking others down? Oh, they're gonna be so pissed! Many new channels have just popped up, either re-uploading older videos or creating new ones. So, let's start with why they're actually making these videos. Money. Of course it's money. I always... I, I think we all know it's money. No, nobody's surprised that it's money, correct? So if you go and look up sea turtle barnacle removal, you're going to notice that there's no shortage of these videos. There's entire channels just dedicated to it. But you know what there's a shortage of? Sea turtles. What you're looking at right now is an actual sea turtle. And this one, this one's pretty, this is pretty bad right here. This is most likely the clip that inspired all of these bootleg clips to be made. Most people will go their entire lives without even seeing a wild sea turtle. If finding and filming a barnacle infested sea turtle was easy, these videos wouldn't be getting millions and millions of views. And these rescue channels wouldn't pop up constantly, ripping and re-uploading the same videos over and over again. Most of the channels that you see out there with actual sea turtles having barnacles removed, they're, they're chameleon channels. And what I mean by that is they change with the trends. Example, just look at look at the name of this channel and look at the banner. Most of these channels in the past were dog related and they've since changed to being sea turtle rescue videos because that's what's hot right now. These chameleon channels are generally based out of Cambodia, Indonesia, Vietnam and Thailand. The reason they do everything in English and speak little in their native tongues on that channel is to keep the video in English speaking markets. If they were to make these videos for say Vietnamese people, YouTube would have limited or possibly no ads to serve on those videos. That's why you'll see so many of these channels with older videos attached to them in their native language, and then they just stop one day and they just start making all of their videos in English. As these channels crank out the same content over and over again, editing and re-uploading the same garbage, the viewers become less interested in those videos. So they start to get creative. Unfortunately, we all know what happens next. Bootlegs. So as I was saying, just days after the original channel was terminated for violent acts, about 10 new channels were created in its place. Some of these are fresh accounts, and others are clearly repurposed failed channels with enough subscribers and views to actually get paid for their videos. They also didn't even bother to delete some of the older videos that were on the original channels, which was incredibly foolish, but I'll get into that later. So let's talk about the bootleg videos. You know, you know the ones with freshwater turtles with barnacles glued on their backs? So after downloading and scrubbing through nearly 200 barnacle removal videos, I've come to the conclusion that 99% of these videos are made by the same person. There's just one creep doing this. I've spotted about six different species of turtles used in these videos. And for, for forgive me if there's, there's more than that, 
I, there's a lot of these videos out there. After a while, I started to notice something truly, truly disturbing, and I wasn't at all surprised. They're using the same turtles over and over again. And I know this because I spend entirely too much time hyper-focusing on things most people wouldn't. Just imagine returning home after every trip to the beach just to have the stuff glued back on your shell so it can be scraped off with anything from a sharp blade to a fork the next day. Fun fact for you normies out there watching, turtles have nerve endings in their shells. Having things glued to your shell only to have them consistently scraped off is, is can't be good. It, can, it can't be fun for the turtle. I'm sure they don't appreciate that. These videos are a whole lot like those pet death chamber videos, you know? They don't show their faces and they just fight pets to the death. It's just, it's disturbing. Earlier, I said clone channels were made quickly and didn't bother to change branding or delete older videos. This was a big mistake. On this particular channel, about four to five videos remained on the channel after the owner started uploading the bootleg sea turtle content. These videos are a bit more personal and reveal all sorts of little nifty clues. As I was working on this video, five new videos appeared that were previously privated They've spent quite a bit of effort keeping their identities anonymous so far, so why risk it now? The owner of this channel is clearly trying to get it monetized as quickly as possible. Private video views don't count towards the required 4,000 watch hours you need to get paid. The following video clips were all made one to three months before the bootleg turtle videos were even created. In this particular video, we can actually figure out the location of the building that their, their, their home base is in. There's even conveniently some phone numbers and names written on this bench. I was able to figure out where that business was located by checking out these numbers into Google, but unfortunately, you know, Vietnam is definitely behind the times. It doesn't have Google Street View. I was able to find an old photo of that particular business though, and I was able to match up similarities of that building and the ones in the video. The insides of the building have changed quite a bit. They've been remodeled and, and they're quite they're quite nice now, but the roofing is similar here and there were these large, metal security fences that are snug up on the side doors here. Yeah, those are the same also. Can't forget about these benches. This is the same bench. I'm assuming that this is well before they spray painted them. How can we prove that these videos are made by the same people and not just one of those channels ripping clips and reposting them? This is their most popular video, and there's actually some information in this video that can help identify where these people are located and who they are. I have a shirt and I have a hat that says VN Express Marathon. That marathon actually took place in Hanoi two weeks before the bootleg barnacle videos were made. Essentially what I know about this particular family is they own a few businesses in that small area that they're located in. One of them is a stair building company. Here's one of their older videos before they started actually using turtles to make money. This man's looking for sea critters on the beach. It's the same beach where the turtles are actually filmed. So when he gets in the water, he starts filming himself. And then he turns the camera on himself when he finds a crab. And with a little nerd magic here, I can reveal his face that he probably thought couldn't be seen. And that face looks pretty similar to the man in these videos. He's even wearing his polo. The teeth, the smile, and the eyes all look the same to me. This is going to sound crazy, guys, but I spotted the scar on his knee in the turtle scraping videos. And I see that same scar located here. Okay, so there's one more clip that I found. I want you to pay attention to something. Look at this woman here. This is, this is the woman that did all the cooking videos. Notice the dollar, American dollar sign on her, on her neck. <laughs> she goes to talk to this man that comes in the front door. And I thought he was holding a vegetable at first. When you get closer to it, it doesn't look like a vegetable. It looks like a turtle. Some, it, it moved. And then as soon as it moves, the camera pans away. I don't know, what do you think? Do you think that was a turtle? So my theory is the whole family's involved. They most likely all share one phone and they most likely post to separate YouTube channels, uh, but as one or two were deleted, they had to use their other family members' channels instead, giving away some personal information about themselves. Donnie, what do we do now? There's not a lot you can do, guys. I know a bunch of you weirdos have already left comments like, call the police. I actually hate reading those comments. It further reminds me how delusional a few of you are. What, you, you want me to call the Vietnamese police? Is that, is that what you want me to do? Honestly, the only thing we can do is spread the word. Report these videos. That actually seems to work. Dan proved that one pretty, pretty easily. It seems like if you report turtle abuse, people seem to care. Turtles are beloved by most of the world. So, I mean, who hates turtles? You know what I mean? So if you abuse one, you know, people are going to come looking for you. <laughs> as soon as we report these videos, and if the channels get deleted again, they're most likely going to repost them. 
you guys are going to have to keep up with him. There's a link to my Twitch channel. If you guys were part of my community already, you could have joined me in this investigation live. You know, a couple nights we did it where you guys could, could have joined and helped out. Hit that button if you want to help this video get seen by the right people. Come on, do it for the turtles. Do it for Dan the Turtle Man. He, he looks sad. I gotta turn my camera on, dude. You didn't turn your camera on! <laughs>